Morning you guys, it's Karen and today I'm here to do a beauty high, beauty high, beauty pie haul um, in my living room again. You guys were really sweet about the last um, filming and said that you actually quite liked the change of scene. Um, obviously you haven't got the same view of, of my living room today because it just, the way that I set it up on my ironing board, it's quite funny, I've got my ironing board in front of me. Um, anyway, yes, a beauty pie haul. I did do a beauty pie haul years ago um, and I joined them because it used to be that you had to pay a monthly fee and if you paid £10, you got, say, £100 worth of spending limit. If you got 20 if you paid 20 you got £200, that kind of thing. And the spending limit is important because the way that, that Beauty Pie works is they show you the price of something, say they'll show you a serum, that they'll say it costs £50, but actually if you're a Beauty Pie member then you get it for 10 pounds but the spending limit is on that 50 pounds so you could really only buy a couple of items for 10 pound a month or 20 pound a month whatever it was so that's why i never kept to it um and i i can't think of anything that that made a lasting impression on me that i kept and kept on using you know no products I didn't keep any products and miss any products from there. That being said, you guys have mentioned products to me over the years, which I'm now just realizing I didn't have a look at the comments and figure out what they were, which isn't very helpful. Um, but I thought I would give them another look, um, mostly because I, I needed to or wanted to spend my Christmas money on something kind of beauty wise. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a beauty pie haul because the way that they do it now is you can be a 24 hour visitor and pay 10 pound and put in one order and get access to everything. Or I think you can pay yearly and pay 59 pound for the year. Um, so I went and did just a one-off haul if you like. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what I got. I've got a couple of home things, mostly makeup and then a couple of skincare things. The first thing I bought is this candle. This is actually a gift. So I can't say too much on this. I have tried most of the things here, um, but this is what it looks like. And it's, oh, it's not a smell I particularly like, but it is hot chocolate and mint, I think it's called. Hot chocolate and peppermint. Um, and there's somebody I know that would like that. So that's a gift. Um, so I haven't tested that out. Um, and then I got this, which I have had going in the bathroom for quite a while. It does actually have writing on it. You can't really see it, can you? I think it says home. Um, this I think is called a clean scent, but I have to say it just smells like aftershave to me. It does not smell like a clean, you know, you would get that sort of clean laundry, clean cotton scent. It doesn't smell like that. It smells, to me, it smells like aftershave, but it's, it's nice enough, you know, but not one that I would repurchase. I'd, I'd love to know what the other ones smell like. I am tempted to get another one because it is quite strong. Um, so I do like that, um, but I don't have them all over the place. I, I, I'm really careful with kind of scents for a couple of reasons. One, because Kev gets a headache at certain things. Um, but secondly, obviously with Watson, dogs have a super high sense of smell, a really, really good sense of smell and things like that could give them headaches. So I have that one in the bathroom and then I tend to put on like a, um, some sort of wax burner or something if I've got guests coming over. Um, so that's the home things. Then I bought two skincare things. One I have been using, but I can't tell you the results of. This is called Uber Youth Neck and Chest Super Lift Serum Spray. So I was just really interested in this because, firstly, because my neck needs all the help it can get, but I think that it would look a lot better if I lost weight, that's for sure. Um, but still, it needs a lot of help and will probably be more saggy if I do lose weight. Um, but definitely I've got some texture issues and whatnot. Um, and the second thing that appealed to me was the fact that it was a spray. And I thought this is something that I don't need to necessarily incorporate into my morning or evening routine. It's something that I can just have sitting out. I've normally got one product like this where I have sitting out and that every time I see it, I can just use it. And so with this, when I see it, I just give myself a spray on my neck and it doesn't obviously disturb your makeup because it's on your neck and it sort of disappears quite quickly. I haven't actually, this is the first time I've rubbed it in, but you know, normally I just spray it, get on with what I'm doing um, and I will see once I've used it up if I feel like there has been any noticeable difference to my neck. I can smell there's a very slight bit of perfume there. Um, that's probably my biggest issue with Beauty Pie is that there's a lot of fragrance in their skincare. They've got some really, really nice skincare, but a lot of it has a lot of fragrance in. Um, I don't remember the fragrance being listed on this specifically, but yeah, it's definitely got some sort of fragrance in it. Um, but otherwise it's okay. So far, so good. 
the other item I got, I really, really am enjoying. Um, I've used, I use two of these a day. So they're little capsules. I'll show you the pot. That's the inside and that's the pot there. And these are called super active capsules. These ones are essential ceramides with glyco and sphingolipids, I think that says. I can't actually read it. Um, and again, I think these have got a, a little bit of fragrance in, but not very much. It's not something that I notice a really strong smell when I put it on my skin, but I do believe I, I saw they had a little bit of fragrance, but I just, I wanted to try them anyway, because I've really been enjoying things in capsules lately. Um, and I wanted to try, they've got another um, version, which is Resveratrol, but they were out of stock of that one. I really, really enjoy this, the feeling of this serum, the serum that's in these capsules. Um, it's more oil than serum. So at first when I used it, I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure if this is just an oil or it's going to be too oily but actually it's it's almost like there's a couple of drops of oil and then a couple of drops of serum it's a lot thicker than an oil would be and so it doesn't you know it doesn't drip anywhere or anything you rub it in and you think yeah it's got an oily texture but it, it fairly quickly kind of sinks in and doesn't end up leaving your skin feeling oily but it feels really really nice i've really enjoyed it so i've been using two of them like i said i use one on my face and one on my neck and yeah i like them but i don't know if it's made any difference. Well, I mean, it's ceramide, so it's something to hydrate. Um, and my skin is feeling nice lately. I have to say my skin, in the last week or so, I have noticed that my skin is feeling quite nice. So I don't know whether it's down to those. We will see. I'll see what I think when I get to the bottom and I'll talk about them in an empties. On to makeup. And the next thing I tried is this little pot of, I think this is called Super Luminous Genius Under Eye Corrector, something like that. I got it in the light slash medium. So it's a sort of pinky colour. You can see that that just disappears on my hand. Um, this is a really interesting one. It looks like a lip balm. I don't know if you can see that shine there. It looks and feels like a lip balm. And the interesting thing was I had bought um, from Boots, actually, another one, another product exactly like this by Revolution, which is something they both state that these are to put underneath concealer and I have never used anything where you need to put it underneath concealer um, and so I was interested to try them but like I said I bought another one from Revolution I used this the first day and just you can actually see where my finger was indented sort of got a little bit out with my fingernail and patted it under my eye and I thought this is really weird it's kind of like a Vaseline type feeling and you know I don't know if it's going to sink in or how am I going to put concealer on top of this anyway I put concealer on top of it and I didn't really like it um, and then I tried, the following day I tried the Revolution one and I thought actually the Revolution one seemed quite good. But then I threw away the concealer I was using, <laughs> was a NARS concealer, that shows you how old it was. I'm trying to use up things that I thought I liked and this NARS concealer is very old because they're not cruelty free so I wouldn't buy it again anyway. Um, but actually I, deci I have decided I didn't like that concealer so I thought I would try it again this morning. So I've got it on under my eyes this morning, underneath the Revolution concealer that I showed you in my 2021 favourites, and it was much nicer to use. So what I did is I used a tiny little beauty blender and I used the other side and just sort of tapped it in that and tapped it under my eyes, um, waited like a minute or so, then put on my concealer, then powder. And yeah, I do think it's, it looks quite nice. It's, I can't remember what even the claims were. I don't think it was just to correct the colour. I think it did say to make fine lines look less noticeable. Um, and certainly before I applied the powder, it did look quite smooth. Um, applying the powder, I don't know how much of a difference there is. I think I'd have to do a side by side. You know, if I was going to review this, if you want me to review this on its own or these type of um, products, then I could do it and I'd have to like take a picture with without this on and then do another day, do it with, with this on and see if there was any difference, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it this morning. So I'm going to continue on playing with this one and see what I think. Okay, still on eyes. I bought this eyebrow pencil. It's a micro brow pencil. And that is the colour. See, putting it on my hand there, it looks okay. But when I tried to put it on my brows, it just did not look like it It, it was the right matching colour. And I find this pencil is really odd. I, I don't think I can show you, but it's almost as if the top is going to twist off. And all it's doing is twisting it up, but it doesn't feel very stable. I don't know. I don't know if I can even explain that. But yeah, the colour didn't match very well. But also, I felt like I had to drag this across my eyebrows. Um, I, to be fair, I only used it once. So maybe I need to use it again. 
clearly I showed by that under eye thing, you know, I can sometimes make a decision too quickly, but I felt like I had to drag it across. And, and I was like, no, the color's not a really good match. It's very obvious, you know, that I've got um, a brow pencil on. This is in the color Blonde Girl, but when you look at the description of Blonde Girl, it says Dark Blonde or something like that. And I've been getting on quite well with ones in that color range. Um, so maybe I should try a color down if I do do another, another order. Okay, sticking with eyes, I got this mascara, False Flash False Lash Mascara by Beauty Pie. And it by Beauty Pie, obviously it's by Beauty Pie. Um, and this is a very probably familiar brush to you if you've known any of the mascaras I've loved. Because this is, it's exactly like one of my beloved mascaras, which is the Kiko one, the Kiko Maxi Mod it's called. But I think this is even smaller than that. So I was delighted to see a little mascara that I could try. I've got the mascara on today. Let me get you closer. I've just realised I can't get you closer. I have to come closer. There's, there's no zoom while you're videoing on this camera. Might be if I upgrade, which I will be doing soon. But anyway, hopefully you can see my lashes do not look too bad at all. My lashes have actually looked a little bit better lately anyway, because um, I suppose the serum is now working. The serum that I was using was called May Create. It was by May Create and is on Amazon. I'll try and remember and link it, but feel free to ask me for the link. Um, so I didn't put any lashes on today. I just wanted to see what it was like just using this. And I've used this probably for four days now and I do really like it. The only slight complaint I'd have about it is it does, it can sometimes clump your lashes together. So you have to work quite hard at making them separated. If you like them sort of real clumpy, some people do like that look, don't they? I don't, I like them to be quite defined and separated, but this is not a product that's gonna separate them. But actually this morning was better than any other day I've used it. Um, I didn't have like, a, a there was one, area here where everything was clumped together and I was having to sort of you know take some mascara off use the brush again really use the end of it to try and separate them out but yeah I really like this it, it hasn't flaked it hasn't smudged it was easy to remove um it gives me some lashes you know it's yeah I'm pretty impressed with that I, like I bought that. a couple of lip liners you guys know how I love a good lip liner so I bought these two one is in rummy I think it's called rummy pink oh I've actually already swatched them there um, and the other one is in Vanilla Sugar. I was really excited about the Vanilla Sugar one. I thought that it might be a dupe for my Too Faced one that you guys know I'm still trying to find. So that one there is Rummy Pink and that one there is Vanilla Sugar. Um, the Vanilla Sugar one, I've actually got the Vanilla Sugar one on today and I put it on today with my Steely Liquid Lipstick in Caramello. And it's still darker than my Too Faced one. So it's not a dupe for that. Um, but it goes on a little bit patchy. It's very creamy, which is lovely. And it sharpens nicely because I actually sharpened it. It sharpened okay. Sometimes you can sharpen things and they can like be half the size by the time you've finished. Um, and it stayed on. I've used it another day. It stayed on really well. Went on really creamy. But like I said, it was a little bit patchy. It wasn't totally pigmented colour. And I can actually see that there. I don't know whether you can see that. Ever so slightly on this side of it, it's a bit patchy. Whereas the other one, is totally pigmented. Now, I haven't used that rummy pink one yet. I think I've got a lot of uh, liquid lip pencils in that colour. Um, so I don't know what that's going to go with, but I think that one looks a bit more pigmented and a bit more sort of smooth, you know, but I do overall like them. Um, but there wasn't a huge amount of colour choice. Um, and so I can't see me buying anything else from them, from those lip pencils. The final product I bought is a blush and I this is probably my most favourite product out of everything. I really enjoy this. That's what it looks like. I've got that on today. Um, I thought this was just a number but it's not. This is in plumminess and so I did a big, I've done a big makeup clear out um, and I've still got it all in boxes and with my blushes I really did a good clear out but notice that I have mostly got coral or peach blushes. I haven't got many that are in a sort of plummy tone, which is what I like. I like to have my coral and peaches and then, you know, a couple of sort of pinks and plums. And I don't have hardly any on the plummy side. I think I've got two maybe, <laughs> um, or certainly two that you can still buy nowadays, you know. So I thought I would try this. When I first saw it, I thought, oh no, I didn't think I was going to like it for two reasons. One, it looks like it's got the texture of, they've got a powder called the one powder. And I had bought that 
years ago and a lot of people swear by it it's just a face powder but i didn't like it at all i found it hard to get anything from it, it just almost seemed as if there was nothing in it you know as if it was just a plastic a piece of plastic i don't know i never got on with it and i thought well, i hope this is not like that where you can't get any color from it um, and the other thing is i thought well, that looks like it might be a little bit shiny you know it's certainly not completely matte however it, there's only, only the slightest bit of sort of shine to it. That's me swatched on my hand. You can see it's quite pigmented there. Um, and it's a really interesting colour, isn't it? It's sort of, it is definitely plum. <laughs> it's, a, it's a deep plum, but it sort of has got a little bit of a, an orange lean to it as well. Um, but, you know, you can apply it lightly and it doesn't look too dark because that's the other thing. It's quite a dark colour. So I might like their lighter pink color there's a couple of things that i'm like yeah i would quite like to go back so i probably will go back and have one more spend um but this one by the way it lasts all day it's, there's a little mirror in there which i wouldn't use but it's a nice little pot you know i like little things um so yeah i might go back and buy another of the reed diffusers because like i said they are quite strong smelling and i like that um so i might try and see if there's an another scent that i might like some more capsules when they're in stock but the resveratrol ones and i'll see what i think of these at the time i order i might buy a backup mascara i'm not sure i've still got a few other mascaras to try but i do really like this one so far um another pencil in a different color just to give it a proper go and the lighter pink in this blush those are things that i can see me buying but also i know that you guys have mentioned products to me over the years and in fact, somebody did recently mention a lip product, I think it was, a lip balm or something. So I'll have a look through my comments or let me know today any products that you recommend from Beauty Pie and I'll do another haul and come and show you and tell you what I think. That's everything from today. I hope you found that interesting. Beauty Pie are cruelty free, by the way. Um, let me tell you what I've got on makeup wise. I have got on, I used a different foundation this morning and now I can't remember what it was. It wasn't my portrait pro. Oh, do you know what it is? It's the super goop. It's not a foundation. It's the super super goop cc screen in spf 50 and um, i wanted to see what that was like um because i haven't used it for a while so yeah i've got that on on my eyes is the huda rose quartz palette my cheek you know the um beauty pie thing there steely liquid lipstick in caramello and this jumper isn't it a gorgeous color this is just a zara basics jumper so that's everything thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon